Okay, friends, I am recharged and ready. Let's get back into writing this screenplay. So yeah, you know, with this video, I really just want to talk about how how I'm just feeling, you know, pumped to get back to work um, on my work in progress, my current work in progress, which is a drama, it's more of a drama, drama screen, screenplay titled Azalea. I've talked about it before, you know, um, what the idea is and how I've been working on it and everything. But just to kind of like fill y'all in, Azalea is a script that's kind of inspired by a situation that went down with my mom. I made a video about that and I hope in that video I didn't come across as playing the victim. But anyway, <laughs> Azalea is a script that takes its inspiration from uh, that situation, what we went through, and everything. And I'm not gonna lie, like it's it's been it's been a difficult script to write. Basically because it is so personal, uh it does touch on a lot of things that, you know, just kind of like hit me to my core or whatever. And it's it's very different from anything that I've written before. Like, you know, like a lot of the stuff that I write, I tend to write very broad comedy, very just kind of like wild stuff and this is much more subdued it's much more low-key much more dramatic and uh and i'm also hoping you know uh very emotionally like resonant and so because of all this working on azalea it's just been it's just been a weird experience for me it's not like it hasn't been like any other experience in writing a screenplay normally i can bang a script out you know once i've got it outlined once i've got it plotted out uh, even if I deviate from the outline or whatever, it's still, it's always been easy for me to like power through a script. But with Azalea, it's been different. You know, it, it's like, you know, I have a burst of energy or creativity and I'll get to work on it and can hammer out pages. And then other times, you know, I sit at my laptop and it's just like nothing, like there's nothing. Azalea is the first time that I've worked on something where I just forced myself to put something on the page. Even if I don't feel good about it, I'll force myself to put something on the page and then go back and edit, rewrite, rethink. And I probably shouldn't even do that. I should probably just write it straightforward, just write it. And then once the script is done, come back and do all the rewrites and stuff. But um, that's kind of how I've been working on it up to this point and yeah y'all like i said it's just been difficult it's it's been difficult however now that you know i'm in my new place now that i'm back in los angeles back with the iron in the background <laughs> but seriously now that I'm, I'm i'm in this new space and surrounded by good energy <laughs> and i'm I, I just feel you know like like to quote austin powers like you know i've got my mojo back god i can't believe i just quoted austin powers but that's how I'm feeling. You know, I've got my mojo back. I feel good. I'm ready to work. You know, strike is over. Contract is ratified. It's time to query. It's time to, you know, talk to people. It's time to get some work out there. And even though I do have several scripts that I feel like they're good to go, I wanted to have Azalea finished by now. Like, I wanted Azalea to be part of this body of work that I'm showing people. Uh, a large part of it is because it is different from the rest of my work. You know, it's not as zany, it's not as outrageous, it's not as, you know, just as wild as everything else. But it's also just a story that I want to get out there. So, I've already, like, missed two self-imposed <laughs> deadlines uh, this year. So really, my goal is just to, um, to get a draft of Azalea finished by the end of the year. I mean, it's very doable. I, I, as long as I, like, really hunker down, take this seriously, I can do it. And so that is the plan. Like, I can admit, since moving into the new apartment, I've been going out, <laughs> I've been having a little too much fun, and um, now that I've got that out of my system, now's the time for me to really, like I said, like, you know, hunker down, put my ass in the chair, my fingers to the keyboard, and get to work. So my, my plan is, like, for the next few weeks, you know, I'm not gonna go out i'm not gonna party not gonna drink at least i'm gonna try not to drink <laughs> and really use that time to like work on this script and get it into the best shape 
into the best shape you know it can be because this will be a first draft and as we all know like all first drafts are shit i at least want to get it on paper get it done get it to just get it completed right and i'm hoping that you know you guys will hold me accountable like that's what these videos are is me saying hey this is what i'm gonna do and you guys holding me accountable so thank you in advance <laughs> I posted on Instagram the title page for Azalea and caption was, I don't know, something along the lines of, you know, let's go to work, right? And just the amount of people who, I mean, just show support, you know, they like the, the post, uh, they commented, you know, like LFG, you know, clapping hands emoji, like, you know, all this stuff. Like that really, that means a lot. It means a lot that, you know, you all are, invested in my journey and that you want you want to see like what I create next what I'm what I'm going to come up with and I feel that I feel that support I feel that excitement and I'm very grateful so thank you for that so just to let y'all know where I am with Azalea um I'm about halfway through it like the script is already like like it's all plotted out it's all outlined I've got like the the basic you know story like out it's just about writing the actual script and i would say i think I, i'm on like page 55 and the goal is like 110 pages so yeah about halfway and everything seems to be in line with the outline that i've created so we'll see you know it shouldn't be too difficult to hammer out the remaining 55 pages especially like before the there's like 10 weeks left in the year so pretty sure i can do this pretty sure I will keep you all updated on my progress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the plan is once I finished it, I'm going to put it away, not look at it, not, you know, deal with it for a few weeks. But I will send it off to um, probably like Wii Screenplay just to get an evaluation. And I think I'm also going to reach out to uh, some of the screenwriting consultants that I know and see if I can get them to take a look at it and give me their opinion. Not for free. I mean, I'm probably going to have to pay for, <laughs> for that service. The thing is, I've never used like an actual consultant before. But, you know, I know several. I know that these folks are reputable. And I just think that it would get, you know, it be beneficial to get, you know, an opinion from like, you know, someone that I know personally. Something a little more, a little deeper than just like you know, um, like a peer reading it, you know, this is like someone who will really dig deep and, you know, get into all the corners and crevices of the script <laughs> and let me know what is and isn't working. Um, it'll be my first time doing this. So I'll let y'all know how that goes as well. But that's the plan is to kind of, you know, for me, put the script away, but still send it to, you know, a couple of people or services and see how I can, how I can fix it, how I can improve it in the rewrite. And while all that's happening, you know, I'll be just doing research on producers and maybe managers, uh, just to see, you know, like who might be interested in reading my other scripts, the ones that are finished and that I feel are ready to go out there. It's a lot of research and a lot of log lining and query lettering and all that good stuff but i'm waiting because see one thing that i knew is that once the strike was over oh people were gonna they were really gonna be on it i'm just like you know what let me wait until things calm down <laughs> i know there's gonna be a mad rush to query and and do all that but let me wait until things calm down and then i'll start so i mean to be honest i probably won't probably won't start querying or anything until the new year. People are still going to be looking for, I'm not going to say content. People are still going to be looking for material and I will have it for them. <laughs>